All right, Alan here, Tony and Shiva had to go on a super secret mission or something, maybe fantasy football. And uh, I'm Alan from Fairweather Podcast. We're doing a Fairweather Podcast takeover of Two Balls in a Mic game day vlog. Hanging out here in front of the locals. We're about ready to march on over to the stadium. So uh, we're looking forward to a good match against Orange County. I think the Orange County fans are in the house. I think they're down that hill. So we're looking forward to a really nice game and uh, hopefully a big three points for San Diego Loyal. And the march begins. week another interesting lineup uh, tonight we got Austin Guerrero starting in goal uh, Oliver Laraz starts again uh, in a week back position with Elijah Martin on the other side kind of just like last time except instead of a partnership with Grant Stoneman and Josh Yarrow it's Josh Yarrow and Jordan Chavez's first career start so we're excited to see what he looks like on the pitch uh, I know he's deserved some minutes but with Stoney and Yarrow on the pitch it's hard to uh, get any time so it's really nice to see that Jordan Chavez is starting tonight uh, Charlie Adams, Haji in the midfield again, uh, with Blake, Abaro, and Toomey getting the starts, uh, with Corey Herzog up top again. Uh, the new signing, Augustine Williams, is on the bench for tonight. Uh, I could see him maybe getting some minutes if uh, San Diego needs a goal late. He might get a couple minutes at the end, but I think if San Diego is up comfortably like they were against Vegas, uh, maybe a, uh, another appearance by goal scorer CJ Fodry from last week or maybe uh, Chase Boone in for a really good matchup. I said 1-0 on the podcast early in the week on fair weather, but uh, after last night's explosion, we're hoping to get a pretty similar output tonight with several goals uh, being scored against Orange County, who's been uh, relatively weak at the back lately. Uh, lots of miscommunication errors, but maybe some corrections in that with their coach being fired midweek. Uh, new coach, uh, Chaplow, Richard Chaplow, is taking over from an assistant position. He has uh, played for Orange County in the past and it has a really long history with the team. So uh, he should be able to hit the ground running knowing the players really well. But it should be fascinating to see how the, the team plays with their new coach. So we are about 14 minutes away from kickoff. Crowd finally coming in. Locals looking, bit, looking loud. We got an Orange County contingent in the house. Wonderful photographer. OC's in the house as well. I sent uh, a collection of fans, supporters, uh, even some of their uh, undressed players made the trip down to check it out. Uh, most notably, Thomas Anna-Volson is in the house. Uh, he's about a week away. So uh, that might come in uh, uh, into importance later in the season when we see Orange County for the last time. We may see a healthy Thomas Anna-Volson, which makes that team just a little bit more dangerous. Uh, but I think our setup's pretty good tonight. Uh, we're looking forward to a pretty com competitive match. Uh, and we're... You know, less than 15 minutes away from uh, the start of the match. We're about ready to do some national anthem, recognize some camp kids, and they ran all over the field, uh, which was adorable as always. Uh, so we're looking forward to a good one. We'll uh, check back in, and once the action started, 4-3-3 set up against Orange, uh, for Orange County uh, against the uh, more familiar 4-4-2-ish setup, maybe 4-5-1 setup uh, for the 
San Diego loyal. Hurts like a pie. I already saw Jordan Chavez make a pretty good uh, attempt, uh, a pretty good hustle play. Um, but right now, Orange County has been putting a lot of pressure on San Diego in the back um, and have do, been doing a pretty good job of making them uncomfortable. San Diego's working out of the pressure decently well. Uh, but you can tell that Orange County wants to come out uh, fast um, and maybe put San Diego under some pressure uh, and try to get an early goal here on the road. Uh, so it'll be uh, interesting to see if they keep up this pressure or just kind of the first 10-15 minutes uh, and they'll sit back a little bit more defensively. But right now it looks like they're trying to put tons of pressure on a um, on Jordan Chavez and Josh Yarrow in the back. Pretty decent chance in the sixth minute. Uh, looks like it was Haji moving across the box uh, outside the 18. Took a pretty good dipping shot just outside the near post. Uh, so kind of the first big strike for either team is San Diego tonight. Well worked out of a free kick. Uh, tried to play quickly. Referee said no thanks. Uh, but they were able to get a free kick have some possession, and uh, ended up with a pretty nice shot, although not on target, but it was a pretty nice shot nonetheless. Uh, Laraz trying to do a really nice uh, Corey Herzog impersonation where he scores a goal against Los Dos. Uh, maybe takes one too many touches, and, uh, and Rakowski's able to get back in for Orange County, uh, but a good idea nonetheless uh, for a youngster to try to put something on goal. Uh, Orange County looking kind of threatening here, uh, but it looks like a goal kick uh, so we have a little bit of end-to-end -end action, which is not what I expected. I thought San Diego would try to keep possession as much as possible, Orange County sitting back. But again, Orange County is really trying to come out uh, fast and big here. Uh, again, trying to uh, rectify their fortunes over the past couple weeks uh, against the San Diego Loyal team, who until last night had, uh, had some struggles of their own. Uh, so it should be, again, a very entertaining match. Another interesting observation, I think Tony made this last time, where Charlie Adams drifts back into the back line to almost form kind of a back three where your wing backs are able to, to press a little bit higher. Um, kind of an interesting new wrinkle in, uh, in the lineup, maybe to give that back line just a little bit more cover. Uh, but yeah, Charlie Adams is drifting back into that back line, almost flat with the center backs. Uh, to allow maybe Elijah Martin and Laraz to get a little bit higher. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that as far as a uh, defensive setup. Yeah, so we'll see if with um, Charlie Adams what uh, what comes from this. Uh, this is kind of a, a one-night thing, but again, uh, out of goal kicks, uh, Charlie Adams hanging back. Maybe just give some a little bit more of uh, ball playing options. There is also a pretty nice turnout tonight for uh, Very nice night out here tonight. Lots of fans out here. Uh, hopefully, lots of noise and support for the. Ball. We had a pretty good build. We had a pretty good build up there for San Diego. Uh, a little bit of a goal mouse scramble. Uh, unfortunately, this one does find its way to uh, to it looks like uh, Corey Herzog who was unable to put it in. Uh, but nice save by Rakowski. A quick clear. Then on the transition, looks like a foul um, and uh, on and a yellow card issued. Uh, so that's one yellow card each, uh, one for San Diego, one for Orange County. Not necessarily getting chippy at all, uh, but it is uh, It is kind of a little bit end to end right now. Each team kind of training chances. Uh, no one's really holding on to possession. Both teams are really kind of pressing uh, and moving the ball up. Um, both uh, Charlie Adams has been particularly nice in possession tonight uh, for San Diego. Uh, with Orange so far, we're in the 18th minute. Pretty evenly matched so far. Uh, I think San Diego's had more of the quality chances, uh, but Orange County has been knocking on the door a little bit. And again, Charlie Adams, again, is just playing lights out early in the first half. Very nice defending on those set pieces uh, and, and keeping, I think, one of Orange County's strengths is speed, but also size with Ugo Okoli there in the center. So you've got to really cut down on those uh, ability to cross, but also when they do get a cross in, to defend it. It seems like both teams are attacking, but very cautiously attacking. Uh, not really throwing too much forward, uh, not trying to give up too much in the back. So it looks like uh, both teams are playing 
cautiously aggressive right now is how I would describe uh, the match. This is one that you know both teams uh, know how important this match is, know how important those three points are. Really nice turnover there by Chavez. Um, and another foul. So yeah, tempers are starting to flare a little bit, crowd's starting to get into it, so this is exactly the kind of energy San Diego needs uh, to ride this wave of excitement. Uh, and get a goal here to close out the first 37th minute. Uh, San Diego is again knocking on Orange County's door, but can't quite seem to get that last touch. Orange County is really hustling to get back and into position uh, to clear shots out uh, and any loose balls, cleaning up the trash to borrow, borrow a Mighty Ducks Gordon Bombay reference. About the fortunate thing about some of these uh, Defensive plays as they come off of some uh, not great ball handling. A turnover leads to uh, Damas running in. But again, really nice recovery to force Damas into a position where he really didn't have a play uh, to make. So that's kind of what's been happening. Here's Blake, great ball in, but nobody is there. Blake put a really tasty ball into the box there. So again, both uh, San Diego is getting some, some decent looks. Uh, it's just not quite coming together yet. Much like last game, uh, they came on pretty heavily in the second half, uh, coming this way toward the locals. So the opportunities are there. They just got to take advantage of one of them uh, or a couple of them to put, uh, to put Orange County under pressure. Yeah, Laraz is kind of almost Jack Metcalf Jr. at times uh, with his crossing abilities. Uh, puts a pretty nice one in there, Corey Herzog. Maybe just a hair too high. Corey Herzog had to pop that one up. Uh, but it's just a matter of time before Laraz uh, dials that cross in. Maybe Jack Metcalf's getting, giving him some pointers uh, to do well on those crosses. Because right now he's putting in some pretty good work. Uh, Jack Blake with a beautiful move to create some space. Shot blocked and for a corner. Uh, but again, Laraz. Is putting in another good shift. Um, it's really hard to, to pick out any uh, weaknesses besides maybe uh, not holding on to possession nearly as much as maybe San Diego would like to. Uh, but right now they're playing some pretty good soccer, but I think we've seen this before from San Diego where they play really good soccer, uh, but they're never not able to uh, close the deal out. Uh, but they did really well on some set pieces uh, on Wednesday night. So on this corner kick, we'll see if there's any type of uh, magic here. So something that San Diego needs to be aware of. A uh, great shot on target, but an even better save. That's the thing too, Rakowski is a quality goalkeeper. He had a really nice one uh, the other night against uh, Phoenix to keep Orange County in that one as well. And we've seen this from Orange County in the past with Frederick Dua uh, putting on a uh, goalkeeper clinic uh, to frustrate San Diego. All right, that's uh, the end of the first half. No stoppage time. Uh, as the announcer tells you, it's the end of the first half. Yeah, uh, uh, pretty evenly matched first half. I, I think that maybe uh, San Diego had a little bit more of the advantage in that first half uh, with a couple really nice looks. The ball finding their way into uh, the into the uh, into the box, uh, which you know you, that's where you want the ball to be. Uh, it's just going to take one right bounce uh, to find its way to a corner away from Mikoski uh, and to put San Diego up 1-0. Uh, but again, nil-nil at halftime. I don't think San Diego could be that disappointed. I don't think Orange County necessarily feels that disappointed. I think both teams feel like they have a shot. They're doing a great job keeping uh, a really dangerous attacker, probably one of the, the you know top attackers in the USL this year with Thomas. Uh, Oh, really kind of not dangerous. Got a couple looks, but they were pretty weak looks that didn't challenge her, uh, Austin Guerrero at all. Uh, so we'll see what coaches have up their sleeves for halftime adjustments. It'll be interesting to see what type of team Orange County comes out with uh, and see if San Diego attacking the supporters side uh, can put together another couple goal out. Uh, a couple of goal output uh, like they did against Vegas. So we are about five minutes into the second half. Uh, San Diego's had a couple of good crosses. Orange County's been knocking on the door as well. Uh, so the first half, or the second half is starting out pretty similarly to that of the second half and that both teams are kind of trading chances, half chances. Nothing, either team has very been very dangerous. Uh, a pretty nice cross. Uh, for San Diego earlier, uh, a, a pretty nice ball through that just missed uh, Tumimo Shobane. Uh, but again, both teams are kind of not really throwing a whole thing forward, although this might be, is 
he gonna? Yeah, this has got to be a second yellow card. This has got to be a second yellow. You stop the progression of the ball. That's got to be a second yellow card. How that's not a second yellow card, I have no idea. But Ugo Okoli cleaning out, looked like Haji running down the sideline, uh, stopping an attack um, without playing the ball. Should have been a yellow regardless. Uh, was not deemed a yellow card. So uh, Ugo Okoli gets to stay in the match for now. Uh, I think if he does that again, I think the referee was uh, warning him that he is on thin ice. Dear finds Blake. Blake has space on the near side. Herzog making a run. Toomey has space in the middle. Here's Toomey. 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 To That was uh, a beautiful goal by Tsumi Moshibane. Uh, a really nice ball through to Jack Blake. Uh, Corey Herzog makes a really nice diagonal run, uh, pulling the defenders with him. And in the uh, 57th minute, uh, San Diego finds that breakthrough goal uh, on a beautiful cutback from Jack Blake to Tumi Moshobane. Took a touch and just curled it into the corner. Again, Tumi Moshobane, uh, the past two games, this is his third goal. Uh, he is really tearing it up right now, and it's great to see a player like that with a wonderful smile and so much joy he plays with uh, get another goal for San Diego. Uh, again, another great buildup. Jack Blake uh, sees Corey Herzog's run, pull defenders open, puts it, cuts it back uh, to Tumi Moshevani in the space that he that he creates, uh, and he uh, and Tumi Moshevani just puts a really nice touch in for a goal. And you know we just saw the locals uh, and the Chavos and Rainbow Loyals really uh, excited to see San Diego put one uh, to go one nil up in the 56th minute. Uh, another uh, point of information on that Tumi Mosho Bonnie goal, uh, San Diego has played Orange County three times. Tumi Mosho Bonnie has scored in all three of those matches. Uh, this one, not with his head. Uh, the first two were with his head. This one was a beautiful curler into the into the far post. Uh, so Tumi doing it with his head and with his feet. Uh, we have a stoppage of play with tons of substitutes right now. Uh, looks like Augustine Williams is making an appearance. It looks like Ian Mai is getting another look please. as well. Uh, so yeah, multiple substitutions here after this goal. Um, the match number seven, Jack Blake. So Blake gets uh, taken off. 26, Augustine Williams. So it'll be nice to see uh, Augustine Williams get his debut for, for San, San Diego. Diego the match number 42. Haji Abdi Kadir. And Haji is Entering off the match for San Diego. Is number 41, Ian Mai. It's Ian Mai, there you go. Uh, so uh, Blake and uh, Haji off. Ian and Augustine Williams on. Uh, we've seen Ian before, and he's done quite a good job uh, playing on the defensive line. Um, it looks like he's gonna fill in uh, at left back with um, with Laraz, with Laraz finding himself in the midfield like we saw, uh, I believe that was last match, we saw Laraz uh, fit in nicely in the midfield. Probably a more natural position for him. Uh, and then looks like Augustine Williams uh, is kind of floating up top with Corey Herzog. Uh, maybe kind of a striker, shadow striker situation here. Um, but a very nice uh, goal by Tumi Moshabani. And we'll see how this new look San Diego uh, does uh, both offensively and defensively because they've been good defensively. Um, and pretty good offensively as well. In the 64th minute, we have uh, Thomas finding his way in, being very dangerous as he always is, and equalizing. Uh, there goes a clean sheet and car wash. I'm sure San Diego would like to have that one back. Kind of a near angle shot from the far side. It was a little bit higher. It's hard to see how that one goes in. Um, but uh, Thomas just beats his man to the inside. Uh, and finds that far corner. I think uh, Guerrero would have liked to have that one back. 
Um, but Orange County equalizes and we got ourselves a brand new uh, soccer match. Uh, but again, I think um, San Diego's been uh, the more aggressive and better team throughout the, the game so far. Uh, so I would uh, like to believe that we're going to get a um, another goal here at some point during the match. Puts another one in to make it two to one. Um, again, San Diego is um, maybe a little bit sloppy in the back there. Um, the ball kind of bouncing around. The, the same kind of goals we uh, or opportunities we saw for San Diego in the first half. Um, but this one happened to go in for Orange County, and Orange County is up two to one right now. An unfortunate uh, bounce there for San Diego um, as the ball finds its way in the back of the net off of a tackle. Uh, so quite unfortunate there for San Diego. Uh, but again, we still have quite a lot of time, and San Diego has come back against Orange County. Uh, it's tough to give up two back to back, um, but we got to make sure uh, the lo locals are staying positive. So San Diego's got to stay positive, and I think they can uh, they can find an equalizer here. Uh, we got a we got a dangerous kick here in uh, the uh, San Diego attacking third. Uh, Adams is lining up to kick it here. We go. So unfortunately nothing came of that set piece, uh, but San Diego still challenging. Gus Augustine Williams is in, uh, or at least tries to get in. Uh, Bokrowski comes out and Jordan Chavez comes off as well. Uh, so we're, we're going for it tonight, uh, taking off a center back uh, and uh, putting on uh, Guido and uh, Hackworth. So Guido stays on his feet. Uh, and we have a, a corner kick coming up here for San Diego. Guido's over here to take take the corner. And put it over. Unfortunately, Tubi Moshobani uh, could not get a good look at it uh, and could not uh, put it on target. Um, quite unfortunate. Unfortunately, uh, it seems to be like uh, the way San Diego's playing prior to that 5-1 Vegas match where uh, they're knocking on the door, they're getting chances, they're just not really able to put it together. And whether that's, uh, you know, maybe some, uh, not necessarily discomfort, but, you know, we got some new guys up top, maybe not communicating the best. Um, but uh, regardless, again, San Diego had a majority of possession first half, uh, and I'm sure um, statistics will say they had a majority of possession the second half as well. Uh, but again, possession doesn't matter if you're not doing anything with it. Now, San Diego is threatening. Uh, they're getting some good balls uh, forward. Uh, they're putting the defense under a lot of pressure. Uh, Guido looks kind of sharp, uh, really aggressive running at the defensive back line. Just when it comes to the moment of truth, uh, Orange County is getting some blocks, clogging up some passing lanes, uh, and really making it difficult for San Diego to pull something out here in the final third. But. You know, again, San Diego is getting possession into that final third. Uh, they're just unfortunately not quite able to do anything with it at this point. We're going to have a corner kick here in the 85th minute. Uh, looks like it's going to be taken by Charlie Adams. Uh, we'll see what the tricks they have up their sleeves again. This is the side that had that beautiful Timmy Moshogani goal on. We'll see what they come up with here. And unfortunately, it looks like Corey Herzog might have taken it off the head of uh, Augustine Williams. Uh, I think maybe uh, Augustine Williams had a better play on it, but uh, you can't fault a striker for taking the attempt on goal, heads it over. Uh, we are getting closer and closer to the end um, of the match um, with Orange County still up 2-1 and uh, San Diego uh, trying to find an answer here. Yeah, we are in the 86th minute now. Uh, again, they're, they're knocking on that door. It just doesn't seem like they're going to get that job done tonight. Uh, but it doesn't look like they're giving up, which is great. Uh, so uh, hang, hold on to your butts, as they say, as we get closer. Probably about, we got about four minutes of game left. Probably three or four minutes of stoppage time uh, to go after that. So still plenty of time to get an equalizer here uh, if they uh, can be aggressive, play well. Not really testing Rakowski uh, and forcing him to make a save. It's been kind of over the top 
um, and it's been um, it's been over the top. It's been wide. Nothing really testing uh, this keeper. So we got five minutes of stoppage time. Not sure what happened here. Um, there seems to be some unhappy fans, uh, some unhappy San Diego loyal players. Uh, but we got about five minutes to get this one all time. So we got a last minute corner kick. Austin Guerrero is even in the box, uh, trying to pull an Allison Becker type of miracle play here. It's probably definitely last kick. Cross comes in, it's cleared. This might be the end. Looks like the referee's still continuing to let him play a little bit. We're gonna see what happens. Here comes a shot and it goes wide. Uh, two, one, two, one, so we're back to even. So it's really down to that last game. Let's say you can pull one out in this last minute corner kick. Uh, looks like they're gonna be even on tie break, even on goal, head to head goal differential. And uh, you know, it's really gonna boil down to that last match. Uh, oh, they're going on another corner kick. We are really trying to, <laughs> to get this in here at the end. Austin Carrera is still in the box. Ball blocked, goal scramble, balls around. Oh, and cleared. And that's the match. Fortunately, can't pull this one out. Uh, a pretty, pretty upsetting defeat for San Diego at home. Uh, just couldn't quite get it done. Um, they had their opportunities, and again, um, like several of the previous home games, just haven't been able to put that, that nail in the coffin, let Orange County hang around. Uh, they scored two quick goals, and unfortunately, Orange County leaves uh, with all three points. Uh, and well, just We do have a post-match scuffle, though. Looks like a Roscoe was getting into it with maybe Augustine Williams. Who knows what happened, but there was definitely uh, some after-game shenanigans. Uh, so we'll see if there are any uh, disciplinary actions of this or if it's just just no harm, no foul. Um, but that's not what you want to see. You want to see guys fight hard and then, uh, you know, win or lose professionally. So I'm not sure what happened there. A little uh, after the game scuffle. Again, San Diego drops this one, 2-1. One. Goal scorer tonight. So uh, not with your head tonight, though. So uh, take us through that goal. I know not the, the outcome you want, but a uh, positive goal for you. Take us through that moment. Yeah, I mean, as soon as I saw like Blake uh, going down the line, I knew that everyone was going to rush into the box, so I kind of delayed my run. And I made sure that uh, I was open. And as soon as I took the touch, I put my head up and I saw the keeper. I saw like the left side wide open and like, just starting the bottom of the net. And Augustine Williams got about 30 minutes. What did you see from him and, and what can loyal fans be hopeful for in the future? A very good player. Uh, I mean, obviously he hasn't had enough time to adjust to our system and stuff, but uh, he came on and he, he gave us everything he had, which was good. Uh, he gave us that extra boost and I think he's, he's a good player going forward. He'll give us more uh, speed up top and more runs uh, going forward and hopefully add on to our goals for the season. Uh, so we know uh, your mantra is uh, <laughs> your process and, and performance over results. But, yeah. Um, there were a lot of some positive moments tonight. Uh, take us through what you saw as far as kind of some bright spots. I, I'm actually really proud of our team. Um, they refuse to be every other USL team. And um, teams we play, teams we watch in the league, they're just every other USL team, and we don't ever want to be that. So I'm really proud of our team. Uh, obviously, the two moments, I think literally the two chances they had were the difference in the game, but I can live with that. The performance was excellent, and we're starting to get some guys back healthy, so uh, I'm looking forward to the last 12 games. And you added Augustine Williams as well. What are we hoping to get out of him? He looks like he Yeah, he's... He's a very good player in this league, and he's a proven goal scorer. So he's just going to add more firepower. Um, we need we need goals to kill off the games, um, but we also need to be good in the moments that matter defensively. So that was the difference tonight. But having him, um, having another player or two coming in in the week uh, week to come, and then having some of our guys get healthy will help us a lot and create competition. And it's it, it should be a very Good last 12 games. And then a little moment of chaos there in stoppage time. What, what did you know? We were you know, all the way over here with the, with the drop ball situation. Yeah, I guess the rule is anytime there's a 
head injury in the box and they stopped the play it's a drop ball for the goalkeeper automatically so it was tough to swallow because we had the ball at the edge of their box and got a corner out of it but the rules the rule so the ref did the right thing okay, one thing not the result we wanted uh but i thought you played a heck of a game i think uh a lot of the the supporters group obviously noticed that as well um was tonight kind of a special night or was it just the progress we've been making yeah i mean you know, it's always good to play well, but ultimately, you know, you, you want to win football games. And I, I would take playing bad every game if we won. Um, you know, it was a very difficult one tonight. Um, I thought we possessed the ball decently. Um, they kind of sat off us. We should have probably been a little bit more patient. And we were okay in the middle of the pitch, but it's the points are won in the boxes. And I don't think tonight we were great in the boxes. We, we you know, we scored a goal in the 50th minute, but we could have had a few more. Um, and then defensively, the few times they entered our box, I mean, we weren't good enough, so we have to improve on that. As far as uh, some of the kids getting some playing time, the, the age, the, the average age is getting a little bit younger on the pitch. Uh, as a captain, how proud is it to see some of these young guys step up and, and have great games? Yeah, I mean, you know, I remember Ian um, coming in, for in, when was it? December, January time in, in in, in that open tryout for, for, the, for the young lads and you know never did I think that eight, nine, nine months later he'd be starting and playing and you know playing an important role for us so you know fair play to him um, fair play to the to the to the coaching staff for, for nurturing and developing these guys they've done a terrific job with that um, and you know they're part of our squad now so so we're going to need them um, we're going to need them every day and, and for the game so it's just incredible that they're able to step in and play like that. Jordan earned his first career start today. What did you see from him throughout the throughout the 90 minutes? Um, you know, he's got great composure and amazing quality on the ball. He had the confidence to get on the ball and make good decisions. Um, he fought very well um, in the first half uh, on, on the headers and, and, and defended very well in the first half. Um, it, it was difficult when the game got a little bit stretched. I think that's why I came off towards towards the end of the second half. The game got stretched. Um, so we need a little bit more pace back there, I guess, and we needed to attack more. Um, but no, he, he, he's been great. He doesn't cry or complain um, any day. He doesn't cry or complain. He, he gets on with his job, and he's a, he's a great professional. So it's great to have him around. So another big match next Saturday against Sacramento in Sacramento. What do you think is going to be the key focus in training this week? It will just be dealing with Sacramento. We know how they play. Um, they're going to be very vertical. They're going to be nasty. They're going to tackle. Um, going to be very direct into the front man, um, so I think it's dealing with them and, 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 and you know setting up a game plan to, to go there and play the way we want to play and, uh, and win the game, so that, that's, that's what I think it will be. Let's wrap it up again, uh, some, some nice words from Toomey and uh, from Landon Donovan. Uh, I, I have to agree with LD tonight, um, I can't find much wrong that the team did tonight. Uh, but this is just the beautiful game, and sometimes the ball doesn't quite bounce the way you want it to bounce, and uh, you know you walk away, you know, not with or without any points. Um, that I, that's why we love this sport because anything can happen. Balls bounce. They haven't been bouncing our way lately out of the side of uh, Las Vegas, but luck can change. Uh, it should bounce out of the course of the season. Uh, I still think this is a playoff team, and it's going to be uh, once we get the playoffs, it's going to be a team to look out for. Uh, so I, I felt good walking away. I know it's feel, it feels weird to say you feel bad after a loss or feel good after a loss, but I have to agree with Coach Donovan tonight that the team looked really nice and there's a lot to build from. So uh, taking over from two balls and a mic, this is Alan from Fairweather Podcast. Uh, we'll see you guys soon.